Hello? We're under attack. Goodbye. Renegades. They surrounded us on the island. We don't stand a chance. I'm begging you, help. <laughs> Luan? Yeah, you were right. Only ruins left. Luan? Hey, Major Matt? Aiden here. Aiden, good to hear you, son. You said maybe you could help me out. I'd like to ask how. Not over the radio. Come to the ship. To the main HQ. I'll be there soon myself. All right. Wait! Stay away! 
Hey! What the fuck just happened here? lived in government housing, down in Hounfield. Ugly building, built after World War II. Me, my parents, and my brother. I was 16 at the time. One day, we came home, and waiting on the doorstep was this massive black cat. White moon patch of fur. Sitting there, back it over the place. Harry. When he saw Biomarker. Here. Report to Meyer in dispatch. The commander is on his way back from the field. Does Matt often go out on field missions? Used to be. He was hardly ever on the ship. Always in the field. Always helping. That's why I joined the Peacekeepers. But lately, Matt's been acting weird. Not sure what that's about. It's been this way since before Old Villador and the Renegade attack there. Now this bullshit with the withdrawal, I, I don't get it. Whatever's going on, I hope he addresses the men soon. Helps us understand this bullshit withdrawal. Hmm, he's probably got his reasons. Whatever they are, innocent people are gonna get killed. But go see Meyer. Thanks. Regularly check your infection level. Hey, where's dispatch? There. All right, men. We take care of the UV lamps and head back to base. It should be on point, fast, and easy. Go, go, go. They've already attacked two of our camps. Do everything we can to arm you. If needed, we'll intervene. If you could intervene, why'd you leave in the first place? This is bullshit. Wasn't your father some famous war hero? I bet he's rolling over in his grave. Watch your mouth, civilian. Things are tough all over. You know that. 
Looking for things to do? Ah, you. I remember you from the canteen. Yeah, I, I guess. From the fight in the canteen? Uh, maybe. Don't sweat it. You can really hold your own. I respect that. Aiden, right? Commander told me to brief you about faction matters. Missy welcomes you. What do those survivors want? Talking about our little argument? They want what everyone wants. Safety. Which I understand. But we have to keep our eye on the bigger picture here. And it pisses me off when people mention my father. I, I don't mean to pry, but uh, what's the deal with your father? Ugh, this again? Since you're new here, I'll tell you the short version. Classic story. Saved a bunch of his fellow soldiers, some civilians, and got a medal. When was this? Long time ago. Back when people were only fighting each other, and not each other and infected at the same time. So is he why you joined the military? Pretty much. He must have been very proud. Sure. Why not? Uh, who's Missy? It's the name of the ship you're standing in. She played a key role during the revolution. Missy was meant to deliver drugs, masks, and other critical medical supplies, then return home. But by then, home was gone. She and her crew had nowhere to go. And what about now? Now, she serves as PK Headquarters in Command Central. All directives are issued from right here. Smart. Easier to defend than a building. Exactly. Where is Matt? In the field. He came across a lead in Old Villador. You gotta wait. See that board? I got plenty that needs doing and not enough men. You wanna pick up some of our slack? We pay well. Medic, hurry! Fuck, that's Major Matt. Ready, Something's ready. happened. Make room! The other way! He's bleeding out! Fuck. Oh Hater's in really bad shape. Take him to the infirmary! Don't Summon the medics! Away. We have to save him. Hang on, Ator. We won't let you go. You hear me? Get moving. Better hope Ader survives. We lost too many people in Old Villador. Jack will do all he can to find out who did this. Knuckles belonged first to Commander Lucas. Then, they passed on to Ator. What happened in Old Villador? It can't happen again. We have to save the city, Aiden. From the plague, from the butcher and his men, whatever they're planning. Okay, but over the radio, you said you have information for me. Yes, but before we get down to that, tell me, Aiden, what do you need this database for? What does it contain? I'm looking for my sister. What happened to her? A long time ago, Waltz hurt her. He took her from me. And I want him to tell me where she is. If she's still alive somewhere, that's why I was looking for the GRE command center. To access Waltz's database on its servers. So we have a common enemy. Meaning? Waltz. That's the Butcher's right-hand man. He pumps his men full of inhibitors. We can get them both. I brought you here because I know that a few GRE scientists are hiding out in the city. We picked up the trail of one of them, right before the renegade attack. Sounds promising. When I find a scientist, we'll see what they know. If they are of no use, we'll find another, and another, until you get the answers you're looking for. Why are the former GRE in hiding? They're afraid of the wrath of the people. P-1000. 
People angry because the GRE spread the infection. So it's true. The GRE brought in the virus. Who else? They say they performed experiments in their bases. They brought in containers from Haran. At night. In secret from the government. And then everything collapsed. In revenge, people captured the scientists and hanged them from lampposts. And killed the only people who had a chance of finding a cure. There is no cure, and there never will be, Aiden. That's GRE propaganda. Fine. But what do you want in return? What do you think I want? Maybe the same thing both of us want? The city has electricity again. The renegades are on the attack. For the first time since the war ended, they attacked our outposts in the city center. But new possibilities have opened up for us as well. Thanks to the electricity, we can fire up the biggest antenna in the center, on the VNC Tower Spire. What, you want to defeat the Butcher using radio? In a way. The signal will let me reach a larger number of people. Communication between settlements will be improved. We'll enlist more recruits and defend the city. And then it will be easier to find the surviving GRE doctors you need. I'll do my part. But what guarantee do I have that you'll help me after? You don't trust me, Aiden. I haven't been here that long, but I can already tell that kept promises are rare in this city. If we don't find any of the GRE scientists, I promise I'll get Waltz for you. You're working with Loan, which makes me think you're looking for him too. Okay, I'm in. Good. The Butcher attacked for a reason. I want to make sure this city is safe, no matter what. <coughs> you all right, sir? Maya will share our plan with you. Go see her as soon as you can. Oh, and Aiden. You don't have to call me sir. To friends, I'm Jack. Okay. Jack? Law and order. Ain't no other way to stay. Not much traffic today. You should have seen the pilgrims here. When are they gonna equip us? Can I? Matt told me to see you. Yes, he wanted me to give you this. A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight could come in handy. Thanks. He said something about a plan? The VNC tower. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. But first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. How do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're gonna light it up with UV lamps. What makes it so dangerous? A volatile nest inside, so we think. It's the biggest dark zone around. Once, night runners tried to take it over. They wanted to use the antenna to connect all the separate groups of survivors, give the people some hope. But they never even got close to the antenna. And in the end, the night runners were wiped out. Wait, wiped out? You mean every last night runner? That's the problem. Frank had it all carefully planned. But for his plan to have worked, he'd need everyone. All hands on deck. And that didn't happen? Not everyone believed in the plan. So there was a rift. Frank thought they'd come around in time, but not everyone came around after all. The plan went to shit. It was horrifying. Those who heard the night runner's screams on the radio that night, 
still have nightmares about it. What happened to the group that refused to join the mission? Split up, drifted apart. Whoever led the descent was branded a traitor. And the Night Runners faded into a shameful memory after that. We shouldn't waste time on the past. We need our heads in the game, here and now. Okay, let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be, if Juan from Supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide-and-seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first. See what his deal is. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. Got something to say? Juan Rayner. You don't appear to be on a schedule. It's urgent. The commander sent me. So Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt. Monsieur Rayner is not here. I can take a message. No, I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? Unfortunately, I can't help. Monsieur Rayner's whereabouts are no one's business. Wait if he must. Anything else? Now wait, but you're no fun. What about your boss? What's he do for fun? Monsieur Rena is well known as a connoisseur of the finest things in life. Food, drink, and pretty much anything that walks on two legs. Is he near any of these so-called finer things right now? Maybe I can drop in on him there. Nice try, but no. I won't say. That's not going to be happy. Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. In the Juan? Aiden. Getting settled in the city? Working on it. Meyer and Jack sent me to supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other PKs I've met. That might be because they're not PKs, Eagle Eye. Business is their true faith. I see. Anyway, I can't track down their boss. Juan? He likes to make himself scarce. Probably lurking around the fisheye. The canteen? The slick bastard's even got his own table there. Bribes the cook to bring him off-menu goods. He lives like the fall never took place. I'll look for him there. Good luck finding him. And good luck if you do find him. survives. He's one of our most dedicated men. 